Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be all about your person, the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their feelings and intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching every single time. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. All right. First Scorpio, what's going on in their connections at this time, Spirit? What's going on between Scorpio and their person at this time? Eight of Pentacles, okay. What's going on for Scorpio in their connection at this time? What's going on for Scorpio? Okay, the Magician. Someone making something happen here. Working hard, focused, dedicated, putting in effort, time, energy. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? What's this Eight of Pentacles about? We hear that sound in the background it's the rain i love hearing the rain but hopefully it doesn't get too crazy like it did in the taurus reading can i get one more for the eight of pentacles okay ace of swords seven of cups clarity someone is trying to get clarity figure something out here in terms of the seven of cups maybe they want to look at all of their options you know clearly before making a decision, we have the chariot at the bottom of the deck, Cancer Energy. What's this about? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why does someone need to know what choice to make? Okay, so, um, wow, Ace of Wands. So this is about something new. Making a decision that leads to somewhere new. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Strength, Leo, Energy. And whatever this decision is, or whatever new beginning this is, I feel like someone needs to be strong, courageous, brave. So I say someone because this is what's happening in your connection at this time, Scorpio. You and your person are both here. Your energies are both here, so it could be you or it could be their energies that I'm talking about right now. Tell me about the magician. Tell me about the magician. Someone wants this really bad. Capricorn energy. Tell me about the magician. The high priestess. The world at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I'm getting so many messages. I'm trying to get clarity here because honestly, what's on the board right now could mean anything. <laughs> it really could. Because this could be a decision about anything. Now, I have a feeling that there is like a secret desire or perhaps something that someone is wanting really badly, but it's not out in the open with the high priestess, the magician, the devil energy. As soon as I saw this queen of wands, I thought someone is really wanting this. They really want this to happen. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. And this is going to lead to some sort of opportunity here with the Knight of Pentacles. It's not going to be quick, but this is about something new. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. I am so sorry. Someone just rang the doorbell. I heard it. I'm going to see if I can edit that out of the video. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Okay. My dogs, the doorbell rang, so of course they have to tell the whole neighborhood. 
Okay, Eight of Swords. There's fear here. There's a feeling of stuck energy. Oh my god. Leon, that's enough. I heard the doorbell. Oh my god. He gets so frustrated with me when I don't get up and open the door right away. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. I really hope you can't hear that. <laughs> Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Five of Swords. Anyways, what I was saying is that this could be about anything, especially over here with the Strength card, Ace of Wands. I mean, this is just someone that's going after something that they truly want. And there's a Chariot again. So that energy of going towards something. Um, however, there is has someone's hesitating. There's fear here. There's trapped energy. There's someone that's maybe overthinking this, and I feel like that's slowing them, slowing them down. And almost, I feel like they have to be strong to make to make this this passionate new move. You know, tell me about the Ace of Wands, because this is something they really want. It's something they're passionate about, motivated to get done. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. This could be somebody just wanting to talk, but I really hope that we're not getting all this energy just because somebody wants to communicate. Because if that's the case, then why is this such a big deal? The Fool, the Death card. Yeah, this is about something completely new. But again, you know, notice how there's nothing on the board that tells me that this is about love. There's nothing on this board that tells me this is about specifically love relationships. Um, what I'm seeing is someone that wants a new beginning that has to have an ending to have it with the death card. There you are, Scorpio, showing up to your own reading. Whatever th someone's manifesting, they're working on it very hard. And I don't know if this is you, Scorpio, or your person. I don't think it matters because whatever this new beginning is, it involves both of you. So if this is you that wants a new beginning, then obviously your person's going to be affected. If your person's the one that wants a new beginning, you're going to be obviously be affected. So I don't think it matters who it is. There's just something new happening here. Um, something that's risky for someone with the fool. Something that someone wants to move towards quickly. Something that someone, you know, is very passionate about. Look at this energy. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, you know. But then, you know, Magician energy. Let's just kind of put this energy separate so you can see, like, where my mind is going. Right? I have over here the Magician, the Eight of Pentacles, Strength card, someone gearing up to make this decision. To end something, change something in their life, go after something new, something they're passionate about. And then I have all this other energy over here. There's somebody here that I feel is hesitating, trapped in their mind or trapped by fear. There's some sort of deception or conflict here with the High Priestess, the Five of Swords. Of course, let's not forget the Devil is here. The Seven of cups which for me is a card about being very careful what choice you make so still Scorpio I hate to say it but I really don't know what is happening here just something new so <laughs> we'll see we'll see what this is all about and why this is I feel like this is a slowing down this new beginning so let's look at both of your energies separately let's see how you're both thinking feeling about the other person let's start with some oracles here Tell me about Scorpio and their person. What are they thinking or feeling about the other person? What are their current energies at this time? Tell me about Scorpio. What is Scorpio thinking or feeling? Scorpio, feel free to flip the energies. I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other, but can be interchanged. You're always on my mind. Hey, Scorpio, you're thinking about this person? Okay, tell me about Scorpio's person. Tell me about Scorpio's person. I want forever with you. Can I get one more for Scorpio's person, please? I'm ready to open up. Hmm. Yeah, remember when I said that somebody was probably working in secret or doing something in secret? That might have been your person. Some more insight, please, Spirit. Some more insight, clarity for Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio's energy. 
What about Scorpio's energy? Standing firm, defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Love letter, message, confession, response. I'm ready to open up and love letter is here with true love at the bottom of the deck. Finally, we get something about love here. My goodness. I'm just kidding. But, you know, I do I do make note of that. When there's not a lot of emotions on the board, when there's not a lot of people on the board, I take that into account. Okay. Give me some more insight, please. For Scorpio. Tell me more. For Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Scorpio's energy. Crocodile, watching and waiting. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Golden egg. Yeah, this is something big. The golden egg. No, it's not here. No, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm very like I'm in a very joking mood. So please forgive me, Scorpio. I'm sure some of you are like, just get to the reading. Golden egg, message at the center of the heart, the unstruck sound. Yeah. This is something like a like something from the heart, a message that's been maybe hidden or just has been suppressed. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. Yeah, this would be somebody that is ready to open up and be vulnerable with you about something. So we'll have to see why, what, what they have to say that's so important because, I mean, I really didn't want this to be a reading where it's just gonna be like a message, right? Or like someone needs to talk because sometimes I try to get more than that, you know? But if that's the message, I mean, what can I do? Okay, I wanna get one more. Tell me about Scorpio. Yeah. And this person. Tell me about this, this connection. It's amazing to Scorpio. Great fortune. Okay. I wanted to put this kind of like in the middle here. So I want to know what, what is this about? There's gift at the bottom of the deck. So I'm thinking Ace of Pentacles right away. An offer being extended. Something being given. So let's let's jump into your energies. Let's see what else we get. I feel like this reading might not resonate with all of you. Just take what resonates and applies to your situation. Because I think this is a very like um, specific reading. And also, I don't know why I feel this way, but I started this reading and I feel very light, very uh, playful. Like I was about to tell you a joke re like earlier and I stopped myself because I was like, what am I doing? Why am I about to, why am I kidding around with Scorpio? You know, like what is going on? I mean, it's not to say that I don't have like a sense of humor or anything, but I'm just saying like typically I don't really bring that to my readings because I want to focus on the message. But I find it very fascinating that I feel this way. You know, I'm honestly, I've been working all day. I shouldn't be, you know, as energetic as I am. Um, I, I wonder if you're dealing with someone that has a good sense of humor, someone that's very playful, young at heart. Tell me about Scorpio. The Hermit. Tell me about Scorpio. Queen of Wands. You're the one that wants something, Scorpio. Yep. You're the one that wants something, Scorpio. You want a big change here. You want an opportunity. You've probably been thinking about this for a while with the Hermit. Maybe you've been alone and thinking about this or thinking about this when you're alone. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? King of Cups, yep. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. 
you want something to change, shift, manifest here with a person that you care about, Scorpio. Yep, there's the Knight of Pentacles. So this is what you're waiting for. You're waiting for an offer. You're waiting for something to come in. And I feel like this is on your mind. This is something you think about a lot. This is something that you're maybe patiently waiting for. Tell me about the Hermit. Tell me about the Hermit. Page of Wands and Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for someone to, sh to show up. The Chariot's at the bottom of the deck here, and there's Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because this person's coming with an offer. I feel like you're waiting to hear from them. You're waiting for a message, even something small with the Page of Wands here. And this is something that you really desire. You probably even manifested this. Yeah, there's a Seven of... There's a Seven of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you've been waiting to get your wish granted here. So what's going on with your person? Tell me about Scorpio's person. Well, there's the Ace of um, Swords. So they're focused on communication. They're focused on maybe breaking free, having a breakthrough of some sort. There's the Ace of Swords again. Tell me more about Scorpio's person. For their, for their person's energy. The Empress. Yep, they're the ones working on something. Hmm. And maybe they're the ones that are going back and forth then. Because remember, the Eight of Swords showed up. Four of Cups showed up. Five of Swords showed up. Something else is here. Tell me more about this person. Four of Cups. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Four of Pentacles. Sorry. This Empress, I'm thinking of the Magician, because the Empress is able to manifest abundance. The Empress has everything that she needs, just like the Magician. The Magician has everything he needs, so does the Empress. And the Empress, I feel, is more um, successful. <laughs> I feel like everything she touches turns into gold, whereas the Magician, I feel like they try different things to get to their goal. But the Empress is just kind of like, whatever she tries, it just blossoms. It grows. It expands. She's, she's, she is the creator. She creates whatever she desires. I feel like, okay, so let's find out. What is this person working on? I, I, I bet you it's communication. I bet you. Tell me about the Empress or the Eight of Pentacles here. Actually, I want to, I want to clarify both of these. I feel like they're connected. Tell me about the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about these two energies. The Moon. Pisces energy. Tell me about the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Okay, one more. Tell me about the Empress and the Eight of Pentacles. Oops. There's the Knight of Cups. We got the Emperor. What fell out here? Six of Cups. Yeah, okay. So, um, I feel like this person, once again, there's like something that they haven't said. Uh, the Moon is here. I'm ready to open up. The High Priestess showed up earlier. Four of Pentacles is here. So I feel like there's someone that's held something back. But the Knight of Cups is here. I feel like they're they're kind of gearing up to maybe apologize or tell you something. And make no mistake, they feel like you are their counterpart. Like you are their soulmate, their divine counterpart, their person. I have the Emperor here who's interested in their Empress or vice versa. And the Six of Cups. This person is hoping for success. There you are at the bottom of the deck. Death and strength again. Scorpio and Leo energy. I feel like there's a there's fear here because of what could possibly change. Maybe they need to end something in their own life. Let's find out why that Four of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone that's literally like clammed shut. Holding something back. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Five of Cups. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? 
Maybe they've made mistakes in the past. Maybe they're having regrets or some sort of a loss. Why is the Four of Cups here? Not the Four of Cups. Why do I keep saying the Four of Cups? Four of Pentacles. Maybe time has passed. A long time has passed. Maybe they're worried about the outcome, the result. Maybe this person hurt you, Scorpio, and they they feel badly about it. But I feel like that also holds them back. Can I get one more for the Four of Pentacles? Yep, Nine of Wands. So there's almost like um like a guarded energy here. Like this person is like literally guarded, resistant, um, unsure. But the but the the goal is the same. The goal is the same. Knight of Swords, okay. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. The goal is to talk, to communicate, to tell you this. It's like they. It's like I can almost picture them like pacing. Like okay, I have to tell Scorpio. I have to tell them. They have to know. <laughs> But, um, but then I, I get here the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? There's the Four of Cups. Okay, so that's probably why I've been saying the Four of Cups this entire reading. <laughs> I know I showed up before, but tell me about the Two of Pentacles. The Star. Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I feel bad saying this, but I don't trust this person in the sense of like, I don't, tr I don't, I don't think at this time, like if they were to tell me I'm going to do something, I don't think I would believe them right now. This person's not happy. They're not they they have a wish a desire somewhere else they have hope that something will happen that something will change but when it comes time to make the decision they hold back why is the ten of pentacles here why is the ten of pentacles here why is the ten of pentacles here ten of swords yeah something here has to end and i feel it's a family situation um, or another commitment or this expectation that they have to do something like maybe they've always thought that they were going to do something in their life for their future and I feel like that has to be given up which I usually don't get with the ten of Pentacles because but the ten of Pentacles is a card about long-term success it's a card about getting to almost the end of your life and their security there's stability, finances are good, you've achieved everything you wanted to achieve, you know, it's like the, the, the ultimate stable situation. And sometimes that could be something like financial. So for example, the Ten of Pentacles for someone could be, I'm going to finally buy that mansion. <laughs> and that's going to be like, I've made it, I've done it, right? So for some of you, this person had an idea of what they pictured their future to be. And I feel like that has to change or end because maybe that, that can't happen. But for others of you, this person, I feel, needs to end a situation. And that's why I don't trust them. Because I think this is very difficult. It's a very difficult ending. And this Two of Pentacles, this Four of Pentacles, maybe that's why they're working so hard. Maybe they're trying to figure something out so that they can actually have the courage to get this done, Scorpio. There's the Ace of Pentacles. Can I get some insight into this person's intentions or next actions towards Scorpio? Can I get some insight, please, into this person's next intentions or, I'm sorry, true intentions, next actions towards Scorpio? Can I get some insight into this person's true intentions next action towards Scorpio? See what I'm saying? Two of Swords. This is somebody that's not sure, blocked, guarded still. What are their true intentions next actions towards Scorpio? 
Yeah. This person knows they have to tell you something. There's a high priestess again. There's something you don't know, Scorpio. There's something you don't know. This person has to tell you, and they're not doing that. Four of Swords. Yep. Four of Swords, and then there's a Knight of Swords. So the desire is there. The goal is in their head. They're thinking about what they need to be doing. But unfortunately, I just don't see them doing that right now. I see them doing a lot of thinking and, you know, going back and forth. And maybe, you know, they think about the goal at a distance, but all they're thinking about is the problems they would have right now. And I feel like you've waited for this person. I feel like you desperately want this person to come towards you. Um, maybe you've been very patient with this person. Um, I feel like you've, you've wanted to fight for this, for this connection. You want this connection to succeed. And I'm not going to say that this person doesn't want that too, because I do see that they would love to be with their empress, with their divine counterpart. They would love to have success. And maybe they just can't do it right now, but maybe in the future they can. I don't know though, because this Ten of Swords is difficult. And they're thinking about the future. They're thinking about the future. 